Now the next transformation is from the graph of y equals to fx, we have to draw the graph of y equals fractional part of x. So here this bracket represents fractional part function. Now say for example, I have to draw the graph of y equals e to the power fractional part of x when x lies between suppose 0 and 3. So I'll draw the graph of e to the power x. So now what are the steps? Steps are draw the graph of y equals to fx between x equal to 0 and x equal to 1. So I'll just need to draw the graph between x equal to 0 and x equal to 1. So this is 0 and this is 1. So at 0 this value is what? 1 and at 1 this value is suppose e. So I'll draw the graph of e to the power x between 0 and 1. And here I won't include the value at 1. Now because fractional part function is a periodic function, so all I need to do is I need to copy and paste this graph for all other intervals. So what I'll do is I'll copy and paste this entire graph. So that is the graph of y equals e power fraction part of x. I'll take another example. Suppose I have to draw the graph of y equals ln fraction part of x. I'll draw the graph of ln x between 0 and 1. And I won't include it at 1. Now I'll generate the graph for all other intervals. So that is the graph of ln of fraction part of x. So now we'll come to our 15th transformation and that is graph of fraction part of y equals fx. So from the graph of y equals to fx, I have to draw the graph of the y equals fraction part of x. So I'll take up an example. Say for example, I have to draw the graph of y equals fraction part of x square when x lies between 0 and 2. So I'll draw this graph. So I'll draw the graph of y equals x square and then I'll draw dotted horizontal lines at integral values of y. And then I'll mark corresponding points on x. So this is 1. Now when y is 2, this is root 2. Here I'll be this as root 3. And here this value is 2. Now between two successive values of x, move graph vertically to bring it between y equals to 0 and y equals to 1. So all I need to do is I need to move the graph between two successive x so that the graph lies between 0 and 1. So it already lies between 0 and 1. Now this part, I'll bring it down. This part also I'll bring it down. This part also I'll bring it down. So that's the graph of y equals fraction part of x square. I'll take up another example. Say for example, I need to draw the graph of y equals fractional part of sine x when x lies between 0 and 2 pi. So I'll draw the graph of sine x. Now I'll draw horizontal lines at integral points. So I'll draw horizontal line at 1, 0, and minus 1, so this is 0, 1 and minus 1 and I'll mark this point. Now when x is an integer then fraction part of x is 0. So for all these points I'll mark the corresponding point on x axis where it will be 0. So this is 0 pi by 2, pi, 3 pi by 2 and this is 2 pi. Now I'll shift the graph to move it up and down. So here it already lies between 0 and 1 so I won't change it. Here this graph it lies between 0 and minus 1 so I'll move it up. So if I move it up I'll get. So the graph of fraction part of sin x will be So this is 0, pi by 2, pi, 3 pi by 2, and this is 2 pi, this is 1. So that's the graph of y equals 
fraction part of sin x.